Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome back to another Reddit Am I the A-hole crochet slash knit edition. Now, as always, I will get on my Reddit and look up the most recent, if I can, story of Am I the A-hole relating to either crochet or knit. I have tried looking up other fiber art related content, but they just don't seem to post anything. And even knit is really hard and crochet is getting hard. So we'll see what happens. We are going to start doing these once a month. So the first week of every month will be Reddit Am I the A-hole. The other three to four weeks will be different stories of varying genres. And yeah, so with that... Please don't troll the pages that are, or the, yeah, the pages that are posting the stories that I'm finding, whether you find them the a-hole or not, because that's just not cool. So there you go. I will do this blind. I will pick two to three stories, typically two stories, and then we will find something cute in the end. So without further ado, let's go ahead, get started, and find that first story. All right, so hopefully this one I haven't done. It is from three years ago. I don't think I have done this one, but that being said, we're going to go ahead and read the story. Hopefully it doesn't sound familiar. So the title of it is, Am I the A-hole for directly calling out a woman's snobbish behavior causing several people to leave our knitting group? I will say that this is somewhat of a long one, so we will probably only do two, which is pretty much our norm. Uh, also, Reddit has dubbed the not the a-hole. That's why you see it in blue right there. Oh, look, you almost might be able to see that. Anyways, they say not, not the a-hole. So let's see if we agree with Reddit. So one thing I can't stand is snobby people who act like the only way to do things is their way. It's a huge thing in crafting groups. People act high and mighty because of how they learned the yarn they use, knitting being better than crocheting, etc., etc. I hated the energy in a lot of existing groups, so I started my own. We switched to virtual stuff since COVID started, and I have rules that you have to agree to follow before you can join. One of the rules is to be kind to others and absolutely no snob behavior. Everything has been going great except this pre-existing group of friends joined, and they really pushed the boundaries of the aforementioned rule. Whew, words. They started dipping their toe with comments about acrylic yarn and how they would never use it with dramatic, icky, icky faces. Well, they did this again when a new girl joined the group. She was using an acrylic yarn in her project. One of the women asked her what she was using. The click acted like they weren't di directly remarking while obviously doing it. And in parentheses, it says, this is kind of a hard to explain, but if you've ever had to deal with the, with mean girls, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, it was like, I just don't understand how people are still using acrylic yarn these days. I mean, there are so many other options, unless you're still shopping at big box stores instead of indies, end quote. In the middle of that rant, I was just like, hey guys, let's remember that we're not here to judge anyone for what they're using or how they're using it, okay? Well, this pissed off the group because they started arguing with me about how, quote unquote, nobody was judging anyone and, oh, quote unquote, so I can't even have an opinion now and, quote unquote, why are you trying to censor us? We're having a conversation. If someone doesn't like it, they can leave. Wow, they just sound rude. I muted everyone and said something like, the rules for this group are very clear. 
and you have to acknowledge them before you join the call. If there's an issue, we can talk about it after. The women all ended up leaving the group and I got a bunch of nasty emails and tags on a few social media posts calling me out for being pro censor 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 censorship <laughs> words <laughs> okay let me back to reading and a tyrant and saying how I shouldn't be in charge of anything because of how obviously biased I am. I don't think I'm in the wrong for this. My roles exist to make things welcoming for others. Sitting around putting down other people does not feel like it's very welcoming, especially for snobby crap like they were doing. I 100% agree with Reddit. They are... this. She's not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. <laughs> Those other people that were in the clique, they are the a-holes. Because, no, it's not cool. Some people, they can't afford the other yarn. Or they just don't want to pay for it because it costs more. And that's okay. You do you. Be happy with how you do yarn. A majority of what I have, as far as yarn goes, is acrylic yarn. Whether it was given to me or I purchased it myself. I mostly have acrylic yarn. And that's because that's what I have access to. I have more access to acrylic yarn than I do any other yarns. In person. Now, obviously, I can go online and order whatever yarn I want. But... I purchase yarn in store and it's usually acrylic. I will also purchase cotton because that is also what I have access to in person. There again, I can go online and buy whatever yarn and whatever material I want. I just choose to use acrylic and that is perfectly okay. And it should be okay for everybody. It's it, You shouldn't have to be judged for what kind of yarn you use. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. And other people need to respect that. So let's see what Reddit had to say. Uh, not the a-hole, your group, your rules. Exactly. They want a traditional uh, materials only knitting circle. They can start their own. Besides, why is it okay for them to say whatever they want, but not for people to use whatever they want? Exactly. Exactly. And let's see. I'm a knitter with personal aversion to acrylic yarn, and I strongly feel your and I strongly feel you're not the a-hole. It's a bummer when mean-spirited people barge into what is supposed to be a welcoming and wholesome space. People who don't like acrylic yarn shouldn't use acrylic yarn. And that's the end of it. There's no reason to sub subtweet, subtweet someone. Is that the right, right word, subtweet? Okay. Someone else in the group minding their own business for having a different preference. If nothing else, the last few years have taught us that functioning civil, uh, functioning civil online spaces absolutely require proactive, reasonable moderation to flourish. All right, not the a-hole. I'm a crocheter and yarn snobs are the absolute effing worst. I don't give a crap if somebody else only uses yarn made from the natural shed butt hairs. <laughs> They're words. I've just altered them. Uh, free range Sasquatches. <laughs> so leave me alone about using acrylic. I know exactly the kind of comments you're talking about because I've seen them before on certain yarn craft sites which shall re remain unnamed but start with an R. I don't know. Okay. 
gosh, you know, acrylic never quite looks as good as natural fiber, but if that's all you have to work with, dot, 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 they were being snobby and they knew it. They're just upset. They were called out for their mean girl BS. There's a difference between, well, I personally don't really like acrylic and probably won't use it and oh my gosh or omg i have no idea why anybody is still using that trash it's your group you get to enforce the rules as you see fit and they can either follow them or find another group where they're free to crap on acrylic it's users all day or and it's users all day as they seem to want to so, uh, yeah, I mean, we already knew that Reddit said not the a-hole, but there you go. There were a few comments to reiterate that you are not the a-hole. All righty, let's go on to the next story. All right, so this is in the knit category, and this was posted seven days ago. So, I obviously, I haven't read it yet, and... Ha, huh, read it. Anyways, its title is Am I the A-hole for not wanting to crochet socks for my brother's girlfriend? And in parentheses, it says, sorry for bad grammar. English is my second language and this is my first post. So I am just going to read it as it says it. Me, female 14, have recently learned how to crochet and is and is quite good at it. I wouldn't describe myself as an expert, but good enough to crochet some easy projects. I see it more like a hobby I do whenever I'm bored. Recently, my brother's 27 girlfriend, 30 something, found out I did crochet. The first thing she said I could do was a beanie for my niece, six. I love my niece with all my heart, don't get me wrong, but my brother's girlfriend asked me to do it rainbow asked me to do it rainbow seven different colors i kind of just awkwardly said that i didn't have all those colors and yarn costs money later that evening my niece had said to my mother aka her grandma if i can make her an octopus my mom told me about this and i loved the idea of that far more than a beanie especially when it was a christmas gift I agreed to make her an octopus and my brother's girlfriend overheard. She was quite happy that I was making a gift for her. And in parentheses, it says, which I had already decided from the beginning I was going to do. In parentheses. But then she spoke up again. She said something about how I could make her a pair of socks. I had heard from every one of my friends that crochet that socks was hell to make. I wouldn't know. I haven't tried. I had heart. I had heard from every one of my friends. Oh, I'm sorry that it was hell to make. I looked up some patterns and every tutorial was over an hour long and that's just half sock. One of two socks, I guess. I'm aware that crochet takes a long time to do, but I genuinely don't really want to do socks for her. It's a different thing with my niece because she is directly family, but I have no connection to my brother's girlfriend. She isn't the mother of my niece, which is fine, but she always thinks she knows everything. Like one time we were celebrating my niece's birthday at their house. My grandparents was talking to my brother's girlfriend and the topic of her pregnant dog came up. They were chatting a little about the pregnancy and my grandma said something about how she hoped the dog gave birth soon so she could come back to come back to them. My brother's girlfriend said that the dog was giving birth on a specific date and my grandma corrected her on that and said it could be a little later or earlier than the due date. My brother's girlfriend got quite offended and said in a passive aggressive tone that dogs always give birth on the due date. That dogs give birth three days late. Anyways, back to the sock. 
My mother had begun sending me patterns on how to crochet socks despite me telling her that I don't want to make them. I declined my brother's girlfriend from the very start with this and even offered to buy her socks if she would like. It's much work to crochet and I don't want to spend all my evening evenings crocheting socks. Am I the a-hole? Well, I mean, it's your choice. You don't have to do whatever you don't want to do. So I don't know. I did. I'm neither, neither yes nor no. First comment is not the a-hole. Exactly. It's clear that you don't like your brother's girlfriend and crochet is a lot of work, especially for something like socks. Well, okay. If you don't like the person, then yeah, I can understand not wanting that. And they put in person in parentheses from a fellow crocheter. Your attitude towards this situation isn't great, but your time and effort is worth something and you shouldn't have to waste it on something you don't want to do. That being said, don't be rude and it is, and this is someone your brother loves and you don't want unnecessarily, unnecessary family drama. That's true, let's see. The uh, poster, or the OP, commented back to that and said, I like her, she is kind, but I just don't like when she has attitude to the rest of the family. I try to decline as kind as possible, but she is pushy about stuff. I'm just stressed. Thanks for your thoughts. I might just give in and try to make a pair of socks for her if I have time. Then the person that made the comment commented back, don't let her push you to do it if you really don't want to. You are not the a-hole for saying no. And if you give it a try and it's not for you, don't push yourself to do it anyways. And so the OP commented back, thank you. I really needed some outside perspective. I felt like a bad guy because if it felt like I was leaving her out and I don't want that. I agree with you're not the a-hole for saying no because you shouldn't have to do anything that you don't want to. As, they, as she said in the beginning, she got broken English. So she may have said things in a manner that seemed a little harsh, but we don't know how the actual situation went down. And I can understand not wanting to do something for someone who is pushy and controlling and what sounds like they could be manipulative. So, but they, they do generally sound like they like the girlfriend or the brother's girlfriend, I should say. But I do understand not wanting to do something for someone who does not seem like they appreciate it because they aren't appreciating the time and effort. That being said, I would, as the OP, say, hey, would you like to learn how to make your own? And maybe try to start teaching her how to crochet herself. And because it's, it can be hard when you get people and they're like, oh, you need to make me this. Oh, you need to make me this. Oh, you need to make me that. And it's like, I already have a dozen whips that I haven't even gotten done yet. <laughs> I don't want them to add more to that. So sometimes, even in that situation, just say no. It's okay to say no. And no, you're not the a-hole for not wanting to do something that you don't want to do. All right, let's go on and find something cute. All right, so we have a little collection of autumn makes and aren't these adorable. I absolutely love the pumpkins. You know I love pumpkins and the leaves are just as cute. I love the little acorn and the mushroom. Oh, I love it all. I love it all. They're so cute. I love the colors. And yeah, these are adorable. This week, I am starting with cute crochet. So these are all crocheted items. Next week, I will move on to cute knitting. And I am going to stick with the season. So everything up until December will be all fall oriented. So fall, autumn, Thanksgiving, whatever, oriented creations whether it be knit or crochet, but this is really cute. I really enjoy these. And if there is a pattern for these, I will post them in the description box below. Uh, let me see what some of the 
comments are cute. I love the little acorn, which I, I do too. It's adorable. Those are so cute. The mushroom dots are nicely done too. The mushroom dots are nicely done too. <laughs> Did you just uh, switch out the yarn for a stitch there? Okay. Yeah, it looks maybe. Uh, and the OP answered with, thank you. I got little pieces of white yarn and tied a couple of knots in the middle. Okay. Then I threaded the ends into the red fabric and secured with other, a uh, 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 little bleh, with another few knots in the underside. Okay. I got it. Nice. And these are adorable, nice work. So cute, I want. <laughs> Lovely. So cute. Although I originally read it as a collection of autumn masks. <laughs> That's funny. And was wondering how a pumpkin would serve as a functional mask. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, let's see. I know those pumpkins. I like I think I followed the same tutorial if if you found the pattern tutorial on YouTube. They are my first crochet experiments and two out of three turned out really cute. Ran out of yarn on the third one and had to change colors a bit. Thought it would look okay, but it really didn't. <laughs> and the Poster, OP, said, I think it was a Bella Coco tutorial. This was one of my boyfriend's first projects, too. And a few false starts, his, his, bleh, after a few false starts, his turned out pretty well, too. The, awesome. So, this was done by her boyfriend. Oh, that's so cool. The crochet, uh, I'm assuming acorn, is my favorite, but... They're all adorable. Yes, they all are. So cute. Are the are there patterns for all these? Okay, here we go. Are there patterns? Thank you. They are all on uh all YouTube tutorials. The pumpkins are from Bella Coco and the others are from Happy Bear Happy Berry Crochet. So there you go. Just look up Bella Coco and happy berry crochet. I will say these are all from three years ago. So you might want to look up Bella Coco pumpkins and happy berry crochet mushroom leaves and acorns. And hopefully you will be able to find those. If I do find them, I will link them in the description box below. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I actually had a lot of fun and I love, 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 love those autumn makes, not masks. The pumpkins are my favorite personally. And then I would say the, uh, the mushroom, but I absolutely love pumpkins. We all know this. So <laughs> there you go. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment and share my video. It's free. And remember... Gravity works, guys. <laughs>